Welcome everyone. I'm going to take you through the Marno models uh, in the showroom today. And the first watch that we ever put out was the Marno 300 Dark Surge series. So you have a 300T, which is a two-tone. You have a 300S, which is a full stainless steel. And you have a 300B, which is an IP plated black model. So this Dark Surge was the first model that we ever put out. This is the version two of that watch. So basically the first one we did was a 42 millimeter case, pretty robust, long lugs. And we basically, I designed it for my, myself on, on the bigger side at six foot five, 195 cm or so. So what I learned from that experience was that, you know, we should temper that down a little bit to kind of get the audience wider. So what we did with the second iteration is that we um, moved it down from a 42 millimeter case to a 41 millimeter case. But I think where we had the biggest impact in terms of visually um, changing the watch was shortening the lugs. Um, longer lugs really give a, a larger appearance of a watch than it is. But in terms of the features of the watch, we have an enamel dial. Um, this particular model, the Dark Surge, has 47 um, raised indexes uh, pinned and secured into the dial. All of those indexes have a superluminova treatment um, on them, as well as the uh, hour hand, the minute hand, and the seconds hand. Uh, you have a 120 click unidirectional ceramic bezel for the two-tone model and the old black model. For the full stainless steel model, uh, it's obviously not a ceramic bezel. The watch features a screw-down crown with all the necessary gaskets as well as a screw-down back cover. So you have a 300 meter um, depth rating on the watch. So basically what that means is that it's uh, stress tested and the, all the tolerances have to withstand that kind of depth rating. So all the components have to be of a, of a higher spec. So that's the 300 series. I would say it's an overall, uh, it's a classic take on, on a diver watch um, with an outer bezel. Uh, obviously the DNA of the watch with the um, raised indexes is um, complementary with the uh, exoskeleton of a sea urchin. So you have the symmetry and the texture is what we've kind of translated into the dial. And that's basically the DNA um, that's weaved throughout all the different models of the watches. So that's the 300 series, 41 millimeters, um, nice robust kind of sports um, diver watch. Uh, the second model we put out is a little bit different. Um, it's a 40 millimeter case instead of a 41. But with this watch, you have the case much more rounded and uh, shorter lugs. So this is based on a model uh, models that came out in the 60s called the super compressors. They basically had uh, uh, two crowns. So it was a twin crown model and it was called the gentleman's diver because it was more of a kind of a dressy look of a diver watch. And you have uh, the upper crown. Instead of an outer bezel, you have an internal rotating bezel, which we have here. And the bottom crown is obviously um, for time adjustment. So this watch is rated at uh, 200 meters. It comes um, with a kind of vintage inspired um, rubber strap on it. And the three models that we have is a Seascape 200C Classic, which is this one. We have a Seascape Reverse, which has a white inner bezel. And we have a Seascape Black, IP plated black, which is a full blackout model. And the same thing kind of pertains as the first watch. As I said, with the DNA, you have this unique dial um, with raised indexes uh, across the whole watch. So that's the second model. And then the last model that we just put out um, is the Safe Harbor model. And this is actually based on a vintage Grand Seiko that I gifted my wife maybe 10 years ago. Um, obviously, the Grand Seiko cases are, you know, at 35, 36 millimeters. This is a, inspired by that case. It's a, a 39 millimeter watch. Uh, we've pushed out kind of the sapphire crystal as, uh, as far as we could. So I would say it actually wears a little bit bigger than a 39 millimeter case. This particular watch has a rating of 100 meters. And it's the first one we've done so far with a white enamel dial, uh, which we think came out really nicely. And then you have the kind of um, classic and you have the IP plated black. So you have a um, 
top ring that is polished with a nice beautiful case. Uh, obviously you can change the uh, leather strap it comes with uh, to, to feature it on a, on a rubber strap to take it in the sea. Uh, and all of the three watches contain the same uh, movement, which is a Salida SW201B movement. It's an automatic movement and all the watches are made in Germany. So that's the collection. I think we have a good kind of uh, spread uh, between the kind of styles. We obviously have some different uh, nice ideas coming up for the future in the pipeline. Um, and we hope you enjoy the watches and thanks for supporting the brand.